Hi everyone, my name is Michael Fracano II. You can find me on Twitter at edtechnocation and online at www.edtechnocation.com. Today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite Google Classroom tips involving the use of emojis in classroom assignments. Not just for students, but for teachers. One of the best tips um, ever uh, shared uh, with Google Classroom comes from Alice Keeler. And uh, back in 2014, when Google Classroom was first released to the masses, uh, one of her greatest and well-known tips was to number the classroom assignments. That way, um, it was a lot easier to identify in the classroom stream, and it was a lot easier to organize and identify those assignments in the Google Drive folder as well. But I'm going to take this a step further and suggest that you also incorporate emojis into the naming conventions of your uh, Google Classroom assignment. And let me show you how it's done. Um, I'm on uh, a MacBook here in the Chrome browser, and I'm using um, a really great extension, uh, Chrome extension called um, Emoji Keyboard by Emoji One. And what it does is it basically gives you an emoji keyboard built into your uh, uh, Chrome browser. And um, I have an assignment here that I've got loaded up called a day article and I want my students to share an article they find online and um, I, I, I uh, still use uh, the whole numbering convention it's a great way to organize um, uh, your assignments great great way to uh, help your students identify assignments as well as keep them organized and drive as I mentioned earlier but um, we are visual people right it's a lot easier for us, especially our students, to identify things if there's some type of visual representation. Um, in this case, an emoji. And so along with this article, I'm going to uh, toss an emoji in here. Uh, maybe uh, like a book. Let's see if they have a book emoji. Yeah, of course they do. So uh, this, it's this emoji one Chrome extension is great. I can do a search. Um, I can find uh, the emoji that I want. And what it does is, it, if you notice it there, it automatically placed it down here in the bottom, copied it, and pasted it where my cursor was located um, in the assignment article here. And space that out a little bit, and then when I assign that, it's going to inc include that emoji in the assignment. And so now I have a little visual representation for that assignment. So when I go and uh, tell my students, you know, there's a new assignment posted, look for the red book emoji. Um, it's a lot easier to spot that emoji than it is to find, uh, you know, search for the name of the assignment or, or even the number. And it just makes it a little easier, especially as the stream builds up with more assignments and posts and things start to get buried near the bottom. As you and your students are scrolling through the stream here, it's a lot easier to spot that red emoji book than it is to, to read the name. What's also really great about using an emoji in your classroom assignment is that emoji gets transferred to the Google Drive folder that's created in your drive for every assignment, as well as any uh, documents or files that the students create based off of that assignment, as you see here. So that red book that I included in the title of my assignment also got transferred to the Google Drive folder name, as well as any uh, uh, Google files that uh, the students create within that assignment. So again, using that emoji, makes it really easy uh, and convenient to uh, search for uh, so, you know, particular assignments within the stream as well as files and folders and such. Thanks for joining me on this Google Classroom tip. And I'm Mike Fricano. Find me at www.edtechnocation.com and on Twitter at edtechnocation.